Hi, everyone. This is Luke Ewan. I'm back again. Now, let me talk about this. Uh, it's a movie franchise. It came out before I was born. Two years before I was born. It's uh, actually it's 40 years this year. It's called the 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 the, the, the Terminator. So um, and I I I don't have one of the newest Blu-rays. I have one the oldest one. Not sure when the ones came out. I guess I could have checked it out though. Um, but and give you more information when I I got this doesn't matter though. But it's like a it's like a digi book, I think you call it. Digi book. You know, it's like a book, and you have the, the disc in there, and Alpha's the best, you know. And I know there is a better version of the movie that um, for this, you know, but I, I didn't get it though. But I don't know. But whatever though. Um, but yeah, it just says on, on the top of the book, or you call it, it says Blu ray disc. And it has to have that symbol with a little B and that little, uh, that little, like, uh, like uh, I don't know what you call it though, almost like a like a backward C or something like that. So, but you probably know that. Um, and it, it says on the top it says Schwarzenegger. And it says under it, it says the Terminator. You have the picture of the Terminator there, and then you have um, well, you know, this is kind of a weird franchise too. But these are all owned by different some well, some movies are owned by different companies. This is actually owned by MGM, and I'm pretty sure Amazon owns MGM now, so they probably own the movie now. On the back it says The Terminator, it also says Blu-ray disc on the side too. In the back you have a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger wearing the glasses, his dark sunglasses. And um, maybe I'll read the, 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 the back part first. There's lots of things I'll read in here. I'll do one, one movie at a time. There's also so the total of six movies. Um, and he's... Um, one I actually have twice. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that later. You know, I have um, and I because I, I don't know why. That's okay for now. And then I have the TV show. I have two, and um, well, there's two TV shows too. At least that's for now. So I think there's yeah, there's um, I'm, yeah, pretty sure there's um, six movies and I have two TV shows. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I might have done this earlier, but I, I wasn't sure why I put the, the TV show I had on DVD. So it's only on DVD, so I'll get to that later too. But yeah, we'll just uh, kind of read it back here. It's uh, hard to really know what it even says in the back there. Um, maybe it's pronounced... Hemdale pre presents maybe a Pacific Western production of a James Cameron film, I think. Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator with Michael Bean, Linda Hamilton, and Paul Winfield, I think. Uh, makeup effects by Stan Winston. Director of photography by a Adam Greenberg. Executive producers uh, John Daly and Derek Gibson. Written by James Cameron uh, with Gail, Gail and... And heard, I think, Herb. Gail and Heard, Heard maybe. Produced by Gail and Heard, directed by James Cameron, and um, Prince by Deluxe, 1984. Copyright. It's, it was released by Orion, which is an MGM company, and um, and MGM. Uh, the 20th Century Fox uh, probably helped uh, with some of the MGM's. Um, well, at least distributing some of the movies on DVD, stuff like that, for a while. To, that's with the James Bond. So, but now uh, Fox is owned by Disney, so there's that stuff there that goes on. Um, yeah, and uh, Orion also made the, the RoboCop movies, at least the first three, I guess. I think maybe. And th th there's been um, well, I'll, I'll get to that too, probably. The um, there's been um, uh, four RoboCop movies. I'm pretty sure. I'm just going top of my head, and then there was, um, I think there was like almost, um, I think it maybe almost like maybe four TV series. I'm guessing there was two animated TV series of RoboCop, and then two live action series of RoboCop. And I, not sure what I, I I saw first if it was one of the animated shows, or if it was um, uh, the the that first live action show. So, um, I'm I'm not really so sure, you know. What I saw first for Robocop. That'd be in another video though. I'm just talking about now. Um, yeah. Um, I was trying to think here though. Um, 
But yeah, so I mean, with RoboCop, I was everything was out when I was born. To me, the only thing I missed was the first movie. Not sure how I. Uh, uh, we might even have these on VHS tapes. Um, I don't know about DVD. That's for sure. I just can't keep track of everything. At least in up in my room or up, up, up what I have. Um, yeah, Blu-rays and then then um um. Um, one is a, a three a Blu-ray 3D and a two a 4K Ultra HDs and obviously I have the shows on Blu-ray then the, the, the other Terminator shows only on DVD so, so yeah so um the Terminator one I have once on Blu-ray Terminator two I have once on Blu-ray Terminator three I have once on Blu-ray Terminator four which is not really called Terminator four it's a uh, Terminator Salvation um I only have that on Blu-ray once and now I have Terminator Genesis twice. Like I think I got the 3D Blu-ray and later I got the 4K upgrade disc and then I got Terminator Dark Fate, the last one only on 4K and the Terminator Sarah Connor Sarah Connor Chronicles season one and two I have on Blu-ray. Um each, each in separate season sets. Season one and then season two. So and then, and then obviously the the, the um this might have been part of a video game. It, you know it was uh Terminator um, Salvation, the Machinima, Machinima series. So that's, uh, that's that. I'll get to that later. I mean, uh, uh, Terminator, Robocop, I, there's parts I don't like of the movies. So I'm not always into horror stuff or, or, or gruesome violence. So everyone can not like what I want to talk about, my, my opinions. You know, everyone's different though. So I, I might like the lighter tone stuff at times with Robocop 2 and same with, um, Terminator stuff too, you know. I mean, Terminator there might not be. Um, there's probably more worse things to watch that more gruesome too. But then you know. Um, but yeah, I, you know this. Um, but yeah, I just. But I, I mean, somehow I I chose to get this on. I don't know why, but I'll, I'll read about this too. And then and the, the, the back, the, the back. Um, there was like a little thing that was stuck on the back of the book. It must have came off because it, or have I have I had that, that little gluey. Uh, the, the stuff there, I, I pulled it off. So this, the, the, I'll read the back, and I'll, I'll show you off everything off after I'm done. Well, something like that. So, but yeah, the, now I mean, the one movie at a time. This always isn't getting long, and you guys don't get bored too. So the the, the, the back paper says, um, um, it says Blu-ray disc again. It says the ultimate high definition experience. And it says a uh, fast, clever, suspenseful, and shocking piece of work. That's by the Los Angeles Times. And then obviously you have the picture of, of the, the book thing and the disc taken out too. Um, it says, Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as the most fierce... Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as the most fierce and relentless killing machine ever to threaten the, 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 the survival of mankind. And an indestructible cyborg, a Terminator, is sent back in time to kill Sarah Connor, Connor, played by Linda Hamilton, Linda Hamilton, uh, the woman whose unborn son will become human, humanity's only hope in a future war against machines. Hopefully I said that's all right. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as the most fierce, fierce and relentless killing machine ever to threaten the survival of mankind. And an, an indestructible cyborg, a Terminator, is sent back in time to kill Sarah Con Connor, played by Linda, Linda Hamilton, the woman whose unborn son will become humans' only, humanity's only hope in a future war against machines. This legendary sci-fi thriller fires an arsenal of action and heart-stopping suspense that never lets up. And it says special features are uh, seven deleted scenes. Then we have. Creating the Terminator, um, it's, well, you, have a, you have a, like a, uh, pretty sure it's a colon, visual effects and music. Then we have this next one, a Terminator, um, Terminator, a retrospective. That's, I think it's like three bonus features here, I think so. Obviously rated R, um, obviously don't say why, but, you know, special features contain unrated material and it may not be closed caption or, or, or in high definition and I'm pretty sh sure th yeah that says unrated but uh, obviously the, 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 there is um a rated R for probably um violence and sex and and, and nudity too so I, I I could have actually said more about that stuff too I 
Um, just trying to. There's something else I was going to do too. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I mean, maybe, I I stop with this now. But what? Well, that's maybe okay. You know, I want to say why it was rated. Why it was rated. You know. But whatever though. Um. Yeah, that's probably fine. I I I, I guess for now. Uh, I was just kind of looking for something else I wanted to say. But whatever. Um. I, I, yeah, I guess I guess that'll be fine for now. M maybe. Just kind of seeing here as once. Well, just in case I I, I want to say this now, it's obviously the run runtime is under two hours. It's an hour and forty seven minutes long, and it's in color. And it's, I think the the original audio was mono mix, and I'm not sure if they actually brought back the original m m audio or not. And fans do do get. Upset time they they can't wait to bring back the original stuff at I'm not sure why. I mean that's how it is unfortunately, you know, but I don't know why. Um but yeah. Um and what because there's okay. Uh, um Blu-ray specifications audio English five point one uncompressed uh, English five point one duplicate digital French one point five point one digitally digitally digital subtitles English French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Thai, Korean, Chinese. Yeah, subtitles English, SDH, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Thai, Korean, and Chinese. Uh, came out in 1984. It's obviously in color. It says 108 minutes. And I guess I, I said that. So that on here, it would be like an, uh, an hour and 48 minutes, whatever, though. I went to another website. Widescreen, obviously, and then the 1.85 colon 1. It says Region A Blu-ray, so maybe it's just for, I guess I could, I could look this up again. There's only three regions for Blu-rays though. This is mostly maybe North America for sure, maybe South America. I'm not exactly sure about that stuff off the top of my head right now. Just trying to say what I can. I think I already said the, the, the back of like all the um, casts and stuff too, you know. Probably don't want to read that again. I was looking at it, um, looking at that again and I already read that part already. That's fine. So I won't read that again. Um, but it's just yeah. So I'll, I I can show off the, the the front or or I don't know. Well, um, yeah, we'll show off the the, the front here, too. Um, no, actually, I'll read in the books first, and then I'll show it out. This is probably the only one that has a big book to read about. We'll see how long this one is first, and I'll show off. Um, um, actually, I'll, I'll say one more thing before as I forget. Now this actually does have some great music in here too, or song. I don't own the so soundtrack, so I just didn't buy them. And uh, maybe they're out of print, and I don't know. And and I, I so some of these movies I just don't have soundtracks for, so unfortunately. So, but there's some good songs in here. Uh, I might even download the song or go on iTunes and Office by this. Might be by a different artist, but I don't know how this works out sometime in the real world. So uh, my favorite song in the movie is called "Burning, Burning." Burning in the Third Degree, performed by uh, Triangles, okay? It was written by Tang McClurry as uh, Taney Kane, I guess, and Muggs Kane and David Amoto and Brett Tuggle and Rick Phillips and published by Annie Garbage Music, A-S-K-C-A-P. So that's my favorite song is when he... Uh, the Terminator enters, like, I think it's what, I, I just said it now, it was like, uh, I, I looked it up too, oh yeah, there we go, it, 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 was, it, was, it was a nightclub, it was a nightclub, so there, he enters there, and Sarah's in there, and so is the other guy, and I'm, I'm not sure if she knows who, who they all are yet, so, but then the one guy has to protect him, um, well, so, so anyway, it's like I, I, I kind of said before, and I might repeat myself, uh, the, 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 uh, they show the future scene, I think, and someone gets sent back. No, they send the machine back to kill Sarah. So then, um, well, it's just, it's just a movie. It's kind of weird, but he, they send um, a machine to kill Sarah so her son won't uh, prevail in the war against machines, man versus, man versus machines in the future. So then, then, then uh, uh, one of the warriors, I think uh, the future's John, sends back a warrior back in time for him. So there's that. So... And it's kind of a weird, I mean, I might talk about now, or may not talk about now, but it's kind of weird. It's a weird story or timeline where, where, where I guess, um, um, the, the soldier who sends back to him, I guess he has sex with uh, 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 the, his mother, which is kind of weird. 
uh, or kind of weird, weird. Uh, um, then, then he, he, then she gets pregnant, has John Connor. So I don't know. This uh, that was a little spoiler there, but that's how it is. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of a weird story. But you can say everything's weird in the world too. So, but that's that. And um, there's other songs I can talk about too quickly, maybe. Um, I mean, the the, the um. The thing there was like three other songs performed by the same people. One says, You can't do that. I can't remember when these songs were played. I have to watch the movie again. Um, performed by Triangles again, written by Ricky Phillips, uh, uh, published by Ricky Lynn Phillips Music BMI. And then he had the other one by him was called Photo, F F Photo Play, performed by Triangles again, I think it's pronounced that right, written by Tan Tang M M McClurry as uh, Tanny Kane again. And you have Pug Baker, Jonathan Kane, published by Amy Garbage Music, A S C A P. And we have two other songs in here too. I guess pictures of you performed by I guess it's called 16 millimeter, 16 mm, written by J Ferguson, published by uh, Painless Music, B M I, produced by J Ferguson and Michael Verdict. And I guess is that, but it says Michael Verdict was uncredited on on, on the website I'm on. Uh, it's an internet movie database, so there's that. I'm just telling you, I, I did it before some other stuff. So, maybe some help, may help them out too. I don't know. So, and there's more stuff I can read. But I'm not gonna read everything on this website. Just uh, uh, so the music. The other one was um, Intimacy, performed by Lynn Van Heck, R written by Lynn Van Heck and Do Dulce, performed by Do 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 More Music. There's other ones on here too, but it's not really like um, most of these are like instrumental soundtrack stuff. I mean, I, I could still read them all, all if I really need. I don't know. It's a lot of reading, too, you know. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of reading, though. Not, not, my, not my thing, unfortunately. So I could still read them anyways. You know, um, we have... Uh, the next one is it's called... Well, may I won't read them, just in case I'm wrong. So I won't read them just in case I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I mean, that could be right, too. I'm not sure who can change this website. I don't know. So, I don't know. So I, mean, I won't read anymore right now. I'll, I'll go in the book now. That, 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 that's, I'll read here next. I think that's... Yeah, so, so it always says, uh, Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, it says, uh, the future is not set, that was John Carner, and that was a quote, or whatever, the movie, or I don't know, I'm guessing, I uh, haven't watched it for a little while, but we'll, you know, um, then he has a picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger, well, it says the Terminator, that's what there, then we have the next one is, oh yeah, him, I'm guessing he, he was in the nightclub there too. So you have a thing that directed James Cameron with Arnold Schwarzenegger there. And you have another, you have, you have a few other scenes with uh, um, James Cameron and Arnold Schwarzenegger. One of them, he's in, 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 in a, uh, a car, uh, it was a police car, maybe not, I'm not so sure. Another scene where he was, um, they had to have, I mean, it's not real, but it looks real to me. But they had to put makeup on him and, or special effects or something like that before when he got his eye shot out and he cut his eye out the little, that's the only disturbing thing from the movie. Maybe it won't, won't be as bad watching him, but who knows though. And then he had his arm, something was wrong with his arm. He, I mean, he got shot out of his arm, so he had to uh, cut open his wrist and, and fix the wires in his arm. So that's, how so that's um, that. But um, So not, not, not my favorite type of movie, but I have watched it a, a few times maybe. And only one time I sat through the whole thing, so without looking away at time. Well, something like that. So that's, that's so that. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure why I could try to get them, but sometimes you buy things. So here it says, um, uh, it says James Cameron colon uh, cinematic Terminator by Richard Tane, T A N E, T A N N N N E Tane. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Here we go now. Um. Um. Okay. Um. His movies, <clears throat> um, his movies obliterate <clears throat> his movies obliterate nearly every <clears throat> his movies obliterate nearly every box office record in, in in existence, including those set by his own films. He continuously tears down technolog technological technological barriers in cinema firmly positioning <clears throat> firmly positioning himself as the leading pioneer in d d digital special effects he, he shattered the competition time and again his his motion pictures 
sweeping awards in both nominations and wins. And though some critics insist on doubting him, he always, always, he always manages to terminate their sin, cynicism, sin, cynicism, with the greatest weapon, weapon of all, all, with the greatest weapon of all, uh, unequaled success. Uh, um, he is James Cameron. The, 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 the giant of contemporary film who is not only responsible for the two highest grossing movies of all time, uh, Avatar and t -t -t Titanic, but, <clears throat> but, is, <clears throat> but is also the mastermind behind one of the most celebrated and in, in, influential and influential science fiction films ever made, The, the, the Terminator. Uh, the film's iconic qualities are unforgettable. The, 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 the glimpse of a post-apocalyptic future ruled by robots. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator himself, itself, a cold, ruthless killing machine, and of course, the heart of the story, Sarah Connor, an average working class girl who discovers that her life is far more important than she could have ever imagined it to be. And then we have, uh-huh. Um, okay, um. Okay, well, something says... Okay, um. Okay, um. Come with me if you want to live. That's one of the quotes about by Michael Bean's character. Um, I should have had. It might say the character name later. You know, I should have had those. Uh, I, I could have had those all too. You know, obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the Terminator. Then the Hamilton plays Sarah Connor. And Michael Bean plays Kyle Reese. And those are the main three. Um, yeah. Oh, this other guy, he was in almost three of them. Uh, I'll, I'll get to, he, he was, his actor name is Earl Bowen. Bowen? He, he was S Silverman. I think in the first three for sure. Now, I don't think he ever came back. That's okay. Um, but he, he, he was in a show called, uh, he, he played a, a judge in this TV show I liked when I was a kid. I still, and I own it on DVD. It was on my earlier videos. I'll probably do it again. It's called The, the Deadly Games. So, but yeah, that's, uh, it stars Christopher Lloyd as the main villain or actor, but he's the main villain. He he's like a Terminator too, but he's like a, a video game character came to life from the you know, and he obviously does the destruction. It's not R rated show because that's they they don't have that stuff. They didn't have that much stuff back then in the 90s. Maybe they had no R rated shows on not national broadcast television. So and I don't watch national broadcast television. I don't think they have any mature shows. Maybe they do now. I don't know. So but um. But yeah, that's a good show too. It's in my early one. I I think I said it all. Um, I also had an episode that never was released until the DVD came out. The, the, the 13th episode never came out until the DVD came out. I thought it was only 12 episodes and it was 13. So there's that. Um, there's other lines here. It says, it's hard to really read them. So a, some of our words are over in other words too. Uh, I mean, um, one says, why does he want me? Maybe. The other one, it, it was the blank. I don't really see the other word. The other words on top of the other ones. Picture there too. So how, um, whatever though. Um, but here, okay, here we go. Um, it says, um, born, <clears throat> born in a humble Canadian town to, born in, born in a humble Canadian town to an engineer father and an artist mother. A young Cameron caught science fiction fever after seeing uh, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey and began constructing model spaceships and capturing capturing and capturing them on 16 millimeter film. Uh, as a teenager Cameron's <clears throat> family Cameron's family 
As a teenager, Cameron's family moved to California and he enrolled in college, but it, but it wasn't long before he dropped out, got married, and started driving a truck for a living. <clears throat> uh, everything, <clears throat> everything changed in 1977 after Cameron saw Star Wars and realized George Lucas had made the kind of epic fantasy movie he had always envisioned in his mind. He, he, he quit his job, began studying up on film and special effects, and along with the help of some friends, um, con <coughs> commenced work on a science fiction short film which he wrote and directed. <clears throat> uh, Cameron used the short film as a calling card and soon found himself working as an art designer and effects and effects cameraman under the under the employ of a low budget movie um in, in press Ario Roger Corman uh in two in two years <clears throat> in Two years time, he was in Rome directing his first feature film, P P Piranha Part 2, The Sp Spawning. But the producer hastily fired Cameron and took over directing duties himself. It was while in Rome, after, after, after sneaking into the editing bay, to recut portions of Piranha Part 2 that Cameron broke and running a fever hmm that Cameron broke and running a fever of 102 had a nightmare about a chrome skeleton crawling through hellish flames um after the huh, after the hmm <clears throat> after the experience of Prana Part 2, Cameron resolved to create his own opportunities, so he sat down to write a treatment for the, 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 for, the, for the Terminator. For the Terminator. A story that was perhaps the con confluence of his simmering urgency. The image of that of that pot potentious metal skeleton and years of consuming the science fiction writings of authors such as Arthur C. Clarke, Harlan Ellison, Ellison, <clears throat> and Larry Niven. After crafting a screenplay with producer Gail and Hurd, he <clears throat> he turned down numerous big money money offers. He turned down numerous big money offers from Hollywood studios that wanted to buy the script. Um, Cameron was, um, after after crafting a screenplay with producer Gail Ann Hurd, he turned down numerous big money offers from Hollywood studios that wanted to buy the script. Cameron was hell bent on directing the Terminator, but 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 the studios had little faith in the then. Unproven, unproven filmmaker. Event <clears throat> Eventually, he sold the rights to her, and she found enough financing to get the movie made on a low budget with Cameron directing. Uh, the shoot was rigorous, but he got to make his movie. In just a few short years, Cameron went. <clears throat> Cameron went. Cameron went from college dropout to aimless truck driver to a legend in, in the making. Uh, the, the, the Terminator the, the Terminator remains as vividly um, obnoxious, fantastically fanta fantastically clever and dramatically compelling today as it was when it first released in 1984. Uh, the, 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 the Terminator was released to high critic, critical praise and box office gold. Uh, the world 
<clears throat> the world, the world, uh, the world got its first glimpse of James Cameron doing what he does best, defying the odds and terminating the naysayers. I guess there was other things I was going to read too. I kind of missed them. I'll just go back. Hard me keep track of everything though. Um, so, so there's some other dialogue too. And, and there's some clips too. One says he'll find her and that's what he does. So there's that. Then we has, um, are you saying it's from the future? <clears throat> um, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, I don't know if I said, just trying to, that's fine. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, so I'll, I'll save the highlights first, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, highlights. Well, actually, may I read about him first? Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was born in uh, Graz, Australia, and became Mr. Universe at the age of 20. Mm. This was the first. Mm. This was the first of his many world titles. Uh, his breakthrough film. Mm. His breakthrough film role came in 1982 with Conan the Barbarian. But superstardom was established. But 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 superstardom was established with his with. But superstardom was established with his portrayal of the titular character in, in the Terminator. He cemented his action hero status with the first two sequels to the Terminator and, and with movies such as Commando, Total Recall, and True Lies. In 2003, Schwarzenegger entered politics and was elected governor of California. And so here you have the highlights too. He actually missed one of the movies. He missed the fourth one, so it might have like a like CGI look like like for him instead of him him ever doing that for that um, uh, the, the the fourth movie. So whatever how that was. Um, now we have the highlights. We have. I'll start from the. Uh, it might be missing the movie that he uh, he was in too, but I won't say it right now. Um, I mean I I could that doesn't matter. I'll just say what it says here. I might get, I'll, I'll see how long I don't know how long it's going to be. <clears throat> Uh, one was Stay Hungry, that was 1976, we have Conan the Barbarian, 1982, Commando, 1985, Predator, 1987, Total Recall, 1990, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, 1991, July, 1994, Eraser, 1996, The Sixth Day, 2000, The Expendables, 2010, and obviously, they, the, the Terminator, 1984, and obviously it would be, um, wait, Terminator, Three, uh, Rise of the Machines of 2003, maybe I could be wrong about that. And actually, when I saw the theaters, it kind of part did kind of grow me up, but now I'm not as bad as it used to be. So, um, and then obviously he would come back for Terminator Genesis. That might have been, I hope that was 2015, 2015. Then and he was also in Terminator Dark Fate. I hope that was 2019. I'm not so sure. It could have been that. Maybe who knows now. I have to I'll, go to, I'll get to that when I get to them later, so. It's going to top of my head quickly, though, so. Then we have, oh yeah, these are all biographies. That, that, that's, that's okay, that's fine. Um, then we have, uh, M Michael Bean. Um, born in Aniston, Alabama. Michael Bean studied drama. <clears throat> Michael Bean studied drama at the University of Arizona before moving to Los Angeles to pursue, uh, to pursue a career in acting. He made his first splash starring opposite Lauren Bacall in 1981's, 1981's The Fan. He, <clears throat> he, he is, he is best known for his, he is best known for his collaborations with director James Cameron in the films The Terminator, Aliens, 
and the Abyss. Other crafts include the miniseries Deadly Intentions, The Seventh Sign, Rampage, and Tombstone. He was also seen in the Quentin, the Quentin Tarantino slash Robert Rodriguez, Rodriguez Corp production of Grindhouse. Obviously, he was also in Terminator 2. Um, um, no, uh, should know, obviously. Uh, Judgment Day. Like, oh, I think I was only in a, a flashback scene, though. Or, uh, something like that. So, I don't know if it was new footage or, or if that was like an extended cut. They might have more than one cut from the movie, too. So, there's that. But, whatever, though. So, um, the highlights are you have, uh, The, the Lords of Discipline, 1983, Aliens, 1986, Rampage, 1987, The Abyss, 1989. Navy Seals, 1990, K2, 1991, Tombstone, 1993, The Rock, 1996, The Art of War, 2000, Grindhouse, 2007, obviously you have The Terminator, The Terminator, 1984. And we have Linda Hamilton. Uh, Linda Hamilton was born in Salisbury, Maryland, and studied acting at Washington College before moving to New York to pursue acting. She is <clears throat> she is best known for her role as Sarah Connor in The Terminator, as well as the sequel, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and uh, Terminator Dark Fate 2. And obviously it doesn't say that movie, because this, one, this, this, this release came out before that movie wasn't even released, made yet. So, there's that. Um, other films include Trillion of the Corn, the Dante's Peak. I think that's kind of a good one. I don't own it though, but it also has Pierce Bros and and it's Ball Volcano though. I think that's a good one to watch. Uh, I might have to I'll get it one day. Who knows though? Um, she was <clears throat> she was also the lead on the television fantasy Beauty and the Beast, a role that earned her Emmy and Golden Globe nominations. Other television uh, appearances include a recurring role on According to Jim. And appearances on Frasier and Saturday Night Live. Obviously, it'd be the original Frasier because the new one that wasn't even made yet when this, this, this Blu-ray came out. So there's that too. So obviously, but I so it's not I I just, I, I said anyway. Obviously, I'm, I'm and I um, don't own Frasier. I was a big fan of when I saw it on TV. So there's that. It's just everyone has their own opinions though. But there's that though. So but there's other I, now I do own stuff that. He's in though Kelsey Graham. I think that's the actor name. It might be. A, I think it's a Transformers movie for sure. I think so maybe. But whatever though. I'm not. Sure. It's hard for me to keep track of my own. But all these actors too. At least that for sure. Might be. Might have been the. I don't know if there was uh. If if it was Transformers. Um. I don't want to say it could be Age of Extinction or The Last Night. I'm not so sure I could be wrong. I, have to, I haven't watched this for either, though. There's that. So, but anyways, uh, I'll, I'll go back to this other part now, anyways. Um, highlights are uh, Tag, the Tag, the Assassination Game, 1982, Children of the Corn, 1984, obviously The Terminator, 1984. I'm saying, anyways, Black Moon Rising, 1986, Mr. Destiny, 1990, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, 1991. Silent Fall, 1994, Shadow Conspiracy, 1997, Dante's Peak, 1997, The Secret Life of Girls, 1999, Missing in America, 2005, I'm pretty sure they terminated Dark Fate, that might have been 2019, I could be wrong, you can post my comments, you don't have to, I'll get to that too, uh, yeah, I'll put it today or another day, we'll find out though, um, okay, the next, there's some pictures from the movie and set, so I'll, I'll show it up a little bit later, sir, um, and another so blank page. Obviously, we have not too much more. <clears throat> Here it says Terminator trivia. Um, the, the, the character. Uh, <clears throat> the, 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 the character of the Terminators. The, the character of the Terminator is the only one to be listed in. AF1's 100 heroes and villains as both a hero and a villain. The character of the Terminator is the only one to be listed in AFI ones, AF, AFI's 100 heroes and villains as both a hero and a villain. 
uh, Bill Paxton appears in the small role of punk leader. He would continue to collaborate with director James Cameron in several more films, including Aliens, True Lies, and Titanic. Uh, the, the, the Terminator marks the first appearance of Arnold Schwarzenegger's trademark line, I'll be back. He would, <clears throat> he would later go on to use that line several times with, uh, with slight variations in films, as, in films such as Commando, The Running Man, Twists, Twins, Total Recon, Last Action Hero. Obviously, he, he would do it again in Terminator 2, The Judgment Day, and I'm pretty sure Terminator 3, The Rise of the Machines, and um, Terminator Genesis, which means that's number 5, but they stopped using numbers after number 3, and number 6, Terminator Dark Fate 2. Um, let's remember where I was at here now. Um... Okay, uh, the future Terminator, who appears in Reese's flashback, is played by Franco Colombo, Colombo, a former Mr. Universe and a close friend of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, character actor Dick, Dick, character actor Dick Miller, known for appearing in numerous Roger Corman for films, plays the ill-fated pawn shop owner. James J J James Cameron got his start in film working as an art director and production designer on such uh, on such Corman productions as Battle Beyond, The Stars and and Galaxy of Terror. Here we go. Um that's, that's right now. Um Earl 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 Boning portrayed Dr. Peter Silverman is the only actor other than Arnold Schwarzenegger to appear in in each of the first three Terminator films. And um, then you have um, the only feature film of director James Cameron that clocks in at less than two hours in length. Mm. The only feature film of director James Cameron that clocks in at least uh, it clocks in at less than two hours in length. Then we have, um, Technor, the, 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 the dark side of the, 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 the dark side of Techno by Travis Baker, uh, 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 d d d d d d devastated post apocalyptic uh, devastated post Apocalyptic landscape, mountains, mountains, <clears throat> mountains of ruinous rumble, rubble, mingled with the charted remnants of a fallen species known as man. Met metallic combat machines, hulking monstrosity, monstrosities of des destruction. Probe, hmm. Probe the treacherous, probe the treacherous train for easy prey. Building, blinding white, blinding white search for lights and gun turrets fire hot neon laser beams that could could incinerate a living being in a blink. These these. Are the memorable images of a grim, grim future conjured up by, conjured up by the mind of James Cameron for the for, for the Terminator. Um, it is pure science fiction in the best sense. Superlative thinking that Stokes. The imitation, Im imagine, imagination enthralls and fills one's mind with a sense of awe and wonder. But the, but the dystopian world of 2020 is not where this science fiction 
Classic unfolds. Um, though, it, <clears throat> though, though every frame of the film is preoccupied with the future, its its critical events transpire entirely in 1984 Los Angeles. Uh, fu fundamentally, the Terminator is a action movie at its most basic level. The film is a protracted chase, a series of set pieces escalating in intensity, in, in intensity and odd audacity. From the frenetic nightclub shootout to the adren adrenaline adrenaline piping high speed urban pursuit to the police station and and, 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 and to the gasoline tank tank truck evasion evasion uh, uh, on foot to the final stand at the industrial factory the stem that propels the, the film at a breakneck breakneck pace it's is its unrelenting suspense uh uh th 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 that said it's a it's a testament to Cameron's ability as a storyteller that, in addition to the visceral goodies he provides, he also manages to work in he also manages to work in a compelling human interest story, a star-crossed romance and a decent helping of humor, not to mention several celebrate topics essential to a science fiction narrative of this sort. Um, the parad the paradoxical possibilities and casualties of time travel are covered as are ruminations on the theoretical danger of allowing technology to advance beyond human control and the creation of cybernetic beings that can bleed, reason, and even obsess every bit as intensely <clears throat> as intensely as a driven human mind. And, um... It's okay. One of the quotes says, "It's just him and me." Um, now it says, "It's a lot of, it's a lot to ask, it's a lot, <clears throat> it's a lot to ask a pain public to consume vague ideas along with their popcorn." But as with each subsequent, but as with each subsequent. Subsequent James Cameron James Cameron offering the big ideas don't interfere don't interfere with experience rather they they add texture to it aside hmm aside from the aside from the nightmarish flashbacks to Reese's past which which in a way are like flash forwards to his future, uh, the, 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 the Terminator is firmly rooted in, rooted in 1984. The, 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 the hairstyles, the, the clothes, the music, though the, movie, though the movie has proven itself to be timeless in the succeeding years since it opened, there was a con, 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 concerted effort to make it timely, as is e e evidenced by the fact that the film is not simply about the future and the present, but instead specifically uh, 2019 and 1984. Uh, before Sarah is confronted by her would-be assassin, she dodges into the Technor, okay, yeah, yeah, a, a nightclub, a nightclub decked out with neon lights. 
flaring colors and flamboyant technor signs outfitted, outfitted with blinking lights, branding the club's name into our con consciousness, I guess. Consciousness. It's, <clears throat> it's very... It's very, it's very much in keeping with the excessive atmospherics, atmospherics of the popular popular, eighties hotspots. But more significantly, but more significantly, the name of the establishment is far from uh, arbitrary. Earlier drafts of Cameron's. Earlier drafts of Cameron's script referred to the club as Stokers. Stokers. Uh, Technor would come to be a, a term. Technor would come to be a term used to highlight the film's the film's style. C consider, consider the Terminators. Dramatic slow motion approach across the dance floor to Sarah, despite being drenched in the vibrant colors colors of the environment, there's a dim dimness, a darkness, a pal palp palpable dread, and when the Terminator raises his gun. His ruby red laser sight burns right through the air as ear, as easily as the bullet he soon he is he's soon to shoot would pass right through her head. Not a robot, a cyborg. Although a number of daylight scenes are are interspersed through throughout the action. Uh, the, the Terminator is very much a movie that exists in the dark, darkest hours of the night. Rain sl slicked alleyways, desolate streets, and shadowy hiding places that grant no lasting uh, reprieve from danger, except the the film's sin. Ixism. In the words of John Carner via Reese, uh, the future is not set. Indeed, with an unstoppable force of destruction like the Terminator on Sarah's trail, the pros prospect of her survival, and by extension, man's survival, seems highly improbable. And to the end, Add to that the flashbacks or flash forwards to 2019, where it seems the sun has died along with civilization, and the persistent nighttime attacks against Sarah take on a greater, greater resonance. There, there are no shades of gray here. Sarah is fighting against the forces of darkness. And here it says, uh, um, it was not a robot, a cyborg, my said already. Also says, I'll be back. back. And then it, it was the machines. So here I read the whole thing, and this is, this is a long video. Uh, you have, uh, I'll show you everything. Well, whatever. Um. So, so here we have everything I read. Well, um, so here we have the, the front here. You have, um, I, mean, I don't know if you can see it the best. I don't know. Um, Schwarzenegger, uh, the Terminator. You have the Blu-ray on the, the, on the top right top. And you have the side, same thing. Uh, the Terminator, well, make me read it. Maybe if it's backward or not. And the back is here. With Arnold Schwarzenegger in the back. And all, all the, um... The, 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 the cast and crew, or something like that, it's down here. I read that already. So there's that you saw already. Obviously, that's nothing here about the, the one side of the book, the other side, the other side here. And then I'll show you inside later. This is like this was 
screw to the back and purchase a white paper on one side and you have the other side um you have this is here this is everything else i read um yes everything else i uh, i read there there we go i'm coming up the bar call i'm not sure why it's doing this uh, all people can steal my stuff i don't know about people sometimes or the world so i'm just doing out and what i should do sometimes trying this out i hope i'll make money who knows also that's the bag i can read out too with like the, about the movie special feature stuff and the cast and crews again and the bomb there that's the, the, the book and the discs out there too zap um so here we have it inside the book now obviously i said i showed the front off already picture of the terminator um with all his his human skin on it and then the back with his human skin on uh, so that and then um now this is like the such a long video so this is a, i might do one for now that's all red um it says the future is now set you can probably read it by john connor i think i read it right to you guys that and then we have the next page is here a uh, picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, with uh, him holding some guns. I, 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 I think so. There's that. And then we have the next page from the movie. I think I, I told it earlier. Three pictures from him in the movie. And I'm guessing the first one could have been from that nightclub. I could be wrong. And another one, um, he, he, was, he was in someone's car. Oh, if it's the one the police car, I'm not so sure. That's after he had his eye cut out and his uh, putting some kind of makeup or something on and his arm too. There's that. I read that part right to you. Um, this is a picture of Kyle Reese, I'm pretty sure. It's hard to, I'm thinking there as him there. And obviously, have the other words. That, that was a page I, I couldn't tell the other words are on top of the other one. Um, it, it was, uh, I don't know. It, it, it was, uh, Machines, I don't know. It was a machines, I don't know. Maybe that's what it says. And obviously you have a picture of of the Terminator and Arnold Schwarzenegger with the eye color there too. I may say this ain't for kids. Well I say it's not for kids. Maybe I put I'll put you put like uh like a different ray, ray on it. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about the real world, I don't know. Another picture of the a cyborg there. And here you have some more pictures uh, from the movies down here. Um yeah, this it's kind of showing them off quickly. Not not gonna say where they is from exactly. Hard to know exactly where what scene is from. You know, um, I haven't watched it for a little while, so let's do that quickly there. Number eight. And there's another car there with fire on there. Um, and you have the other scene. Ooh, this is that. Um, yeah, it was the exoskeleton legs. And the Arnold Schwarzenegger's there. And that's it. And that's kind of how he's almost got killed there, or he's or he's going to die. That's at the end of the movie there. That's uh, the bloody there. Um, number, n number, this one here, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I might have to do ratings, over oh, 18 plus this movie, I'm not too sure about this stuff sometimes. I was this, I read that there, right there too. Number 12, this is Michael Bean there, this picture there, there we go, better than his the biography and the movies, and movie scenes there too, there's that there, I don't know, it makes it seem better, I hope I should have done better with Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't know, just kind of do the best I can here, I don't know, you have to, I, mean, I did read it to you guys already, so, uh, whatever though, so there's that. This again here too. I might have to do. I don't know what you do. I don't know. I'll probably show our already movie up before there's that. Uh, my channel. I want my channel. And the Hamilton. There we go. There's that. Probably. Yeah, that's the end of the movie. Maybe I don't know. Oh, is that there? Hard to tell exactly. I'm just, yeah, that looks like it's the end of the movie for sure. The other parts hard to really tell where they're from. End or whatever though. But that's the end of the movie for sure. That's the two. So after the tournament got defeated there. Spoilers, how it is, unfortunately. Or right, more scene. Might be a little ghost for you guys. Pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger's and other parts on there, too. Uh, with makeup and his eyes and Michael Bean there, too. And the the, the, the skull, the, the, the robot guy there. Um, This other part, how much hair. Could be the apocalyptical future scene. I don't know. Hard to tell exactly that one there. And we have 20. Uh, Technors. Uh, and, and the futuristic, futuristic scene, too, there. Um, Sarah Connor, I think she was talking on the phone made to her mom and after the Terminator kills someone, she, she can uh, uh, duplicate the skin or at least their voice. In the other movies, it'd be, well, never mind, with, with bad technology, CGI, they can transform into other person, though. So, well, obviously, it'll still be the same actor in real life, but how that was, though. So, movie magic stuff. Another picture of the cyborgs there. Now, I'll be back. Well, kind of going through 
Can I have Shorn Sabbath? I love it. I don't know. I'm going to do my best here. I don't know. You have, you have these words here. You know, this is the, I'm going to show everything up. I don't know. There's that. Uh, I don't know if I missed anything. I make sure I'm doing everything. Hard me to think I'm doing everything. There's that. The words there. And he just has this one here. So we got a long video. See? Well, I'm in a lot of room. I don't know. There we go. That like that. There we go. Kyle Reese and that scene there too. And then the Terminus robot there too. This is here. I don't know what I'm doing here. We'll find out though. Um, there we go. That was it. And then I have the, have, the, have the disc. Is that there too? That's the disc. I won't take out. It's fine. That's the back. Front. Hopefully you like my, my Terminator overview of the first movies. I'll keep going more and next time. So you guys have a great one. I'm also, um, um, you can help me out by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And uh, give me a thumbs up on my videos. And watch them. And then uh, I'm also on Ko-Fi for $2. And Patreon for $2 too. I'll give you a shout out. And uh, have, have a great one. Bye.